So about 30 years ago, long before my love for music, I was in love with basketball. All my teenage years I played basketball. And tonight I just met one of my idols. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so I'm at a basketball game here in Hanover. The TKH Damen Luxa. And they just played a great game, first game of the season. It was awesome. This was the first basketball game that I've seen in a very long time. And I came here kind of spontaneously today because in the morning I saw an Instagram post and Yesterday was the birthday of one of the players. Her name was Laura Stockton. And I looked at it and I saw she was American. And the name Stockton, uh, for anyone that's a basketball fan for 20 to 30, 40 years, that name might ring a bell. I looked at her Facebook, or I looked at her Instagram, and she played at Gonzaga. And I was like, wait a minute, John Stockton played at Gonzaga. And sure as shit, this girl is John Stockton's daughter. And they're standing over there. Yeah. <laughs> ah! I just met one of my teenage idols, John Stockton. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. Okay, real quick, I want to jump in here and give you a little bit of background um john stockton played like from the 80s to early 2000 he played with the utah jazz and his style of play he's a smaller guy i was a bit surprised i, I knew he was a smaller guy um he when i met him he was only a little bit taller than me so like i was always a smaller guy in regards to basketball players um, physically not the strongest, but I always hustled, worked hard, always chased the ball and like watching the floor, being smart, you know, keeping an eye on other players, passing. I was a good shooter, but like focusing on passing. John is like one of the all time NBA assist leaders. Like he's got records that players will probably never break. So like he's without a doubt, one of the greatest players to ever play the ball, the game, because of that. But he is one that, because, like, my style of play was in the direction of his, I was nowhere near as good. Um, like, even Laura is better than me, but, uh, or that I ever was. Um, like, in the 90s, everyone wanted to be like Mike, but... John was the type of player that I wanted to be like. And like, I was a big Utah Jazz fan. Uh, my parents had to special order a jacket for me just because the store didn't carry it. You know, they were not one of the popular teams until um, like later in the 90s. They were, they were a team they played in the finals twice against like the best Bulls team ever. So, yeah. So, I was seriously, like, this dude was really an idol. Like, I had pictures of him hanging on my wall. You know, I collected the ba uh, basketball cards and stuff. So, I'm not making anything up for this video for entertainment. <laughs> this is legit. He was, whoo, a god. <laughs> oh, 
dream team. And I'm ecstatic. I skipped a metal concert for this. I skipped a death metal to come to this. A ticket that I had paid already to come see this. And I'm so happy that I did because they have a small schedule. I think only four more home games that I'll be able to see. So I'm really happy that I saw this one. And oh my God, I was sweating. Oh, totally embarrassed myself geeking out talking to him. But it was the coolest thing ever. Uh, I think um, I want to try to get a video. I'll do something more in the future. Like maybe I'll try to pre-plan now that I know how their games are set up and how they play and everything. Like I was standing up there. Um, I kind of like to be down here a bit more courtside, which I think I could be, but uh, I'm a fan. I now have my favorite Hanover basketball team. So more of them to come. I'd like to interview some of them, but I'm not gonna bother tonight because they're, they're opening night, uh, season opener, and with John being here, there's a lot of attention and I'll try to catch them another time. So very cool. So, so yeah, Germans also love basketball. So, uh, that's it. It's late. I need another beer. This next mall, fire Robin. Cheers.